How nature speaks to us. The Green Kingdom has a great significance and symbolism for humans. It mirrors and reveals the truth of our lives. Plants breathe, they grow, adapt, and defend themselves, just as humans do. They communicate, perceive, and react, just like humans. They produce, and they impact the world around them. But plants do so much more. Plant life sustains the living world. Plants produce oxygen and food. They stimulate the senses, heal, and inspire. Plants are alchemists, providing lessons of growth, serenity, and relationships. They are forecasters of change in the weather and changes in the environment, and they have a unique rhythms and powers and cycles. Plants are very self-sufficient. Without plants, animals could not exist on Earth. They are the fabric of our landscape. They travel and they colonize. They are life givers and life support of the planet. Plants are often taken for granted in the modern world. To many. They are little more than part of a view, but they are actually unique among all life forms on Earth. They alone have the ability to derive energy directly from light. They are living symbols of Earth, Earth's life force. The Green Kingdom is an environment. From which we can gain tremendous spiritual insight and wisdom about our lives and our potentials. In fact, everything that we encounter in nature has the potential of being a powerful symbol, which can direct us in our activities and our endeavors. Nature communicates. To us, through our physical senses, our senses of sight, sound, smell, touch, and taste. Whatever stirs our senses can be a message to us from nature. Nature also communicates to us through our intuition as well. When you spend time in nature. Your intuition will sharpen. It is one of those subtle gifts of nature. A lot of the time, the intuitive part comes into play frequently during the translation of the messages and which we receive from Mother Nature. We are just impressed with the answer. Translating those messages usually requires. Some introspection and awareness, but if we sit quietly, we're usually directed from within, and our connection, because we are a part of nature, to the answers and the insights in which we are looking for. Symbols express that for which we have no words. They touch both object. And subjective realities. They span the world of thought, and the world of being, and symbols bridge the rational, and the intuitive levels of our being. They provide a means of understanding and interacting with the true world of hidden realities within us, and our life. They open us to that which we have either ignored or been aware of. They are a means for the conscious mind to recognize and discern information from the subconscious mind, which attends to everything that goes on in and around us. 
Symbology is the language of the unconscious, and each of us, at some point, will need to learn more about it if we are to truly read the signs and messages of nature. Symbols are derived from the archetypes or universal energies found throughout the world, and thus, at some point, in our use of them, they. Lead us back to those archetypes. The archetypes are the manifestation of energies of the universe. The archetypes are the points where the abstract divine forces begin to take upon themselves actual substance, form, and expression. It is within this green kingdom. Those archetypes are unveiled most powerfully, particularly through plants, animals, and activities of nature. Everything in the natural world is potentially a symbol, with ability to reflect something about the hidden forces at play within our lives. In other words, at the core of everything. We encounter in nature lies some archetypal force. The opening hidden at the base of a tree may reflect something about the potential of a new idea or an endeavor, since all openings are reflections of the archetypal feminine, the creative and birth-given energies. There was a time in which humanity saw itself as part of nature, and nature as part of it. Dreaming and waking were inseparable. Animals, plants, and humans were inseparable. The nature and the supernatural merged and blended, as did the symbolic and the mundane meanings. As did the symbolic and the mundane meanings. Of the elements of nature, shamans used these symbols and images of the natural world to express this unity and to instill a transpersonal experience. Symbols, visualization, and creative imagination are often a part of developing our higher potentials. The symbols and images assist us in assessing that part of our brain and mind which bridges into deeper levels of perception and consciousness. We accomplish this most easily through the symbols and images of nature, because they are such a strong part of our most primal self. Because we are an integral part of nature. Patterns from nature speak to our intuitive consciousness. The symbolic patterns that speak softly to us allow us to know what has, or will come to pass, and even what directions we should take in various areas of our lives. Through the proper use and understanding of nature's messages and images. And symbols, you will create a bridge that begins the process of unveiling the hidden to you. You will begin to see underlying patterns, and you will assess greater potentials and manifest them within your daily lives. You will begin your journey to become spiritually awakened and wise.